Today we're going to put a new carburetor on the Kubota lawnmower. See if that'll get it running right. Right now it'll run, but it'll only run with the choke pulled up all the way. Uh, I have taken the carburetor off, cleaned it out, and thinking maybe it was just a ethanol fuel, but had problems honestly with this carburetor since it was about a year old, and we're going on year five now. So I'm uh, going to go ahead and change, put a new one on it, and see if we can't get that straightened out. So come on along and let's uh, see what we can do. So this is the uh, Kubota lawnmower. This is the residential series, the Commander, they call it. Uh, it's a Z122R, just a 42 inch cut. And this is the carburetor that goes with it. Uh, since I've had it, I've cleaned the carburetor out several times and kept it running. I actually had to replace this little solenoid on the bottom. Uh, it's an electric solenoid that actually lets fuel in or shuts the fuel off to it. So uh, this carburetor on uh, Amazon was about $35. and actually came with the solenoid and all. So we're gonna replace it all and see if we can't get it running. To start with, there's a couple of bolts on this little shroud here on the bottom and you get a couple on the side right here that'll come out and this thing just slides off the back and you get right to the carburetor so we're gonna pull that off as you can see there's a breather right under that's the carburetor and we're gonna get that thing off there and see if we can't get it fixed the fuel line will leak a little bit of fuel out but it's pretty easy to put it up high I just tuck it in like that and that'll keep any fuel from running out of it. There is one bolt here that you can't really get a socket on. That it does help to have it loosened up as far as I'm concerned. And I will go ahead and give a disclaimer. I'm not a mechanic. Uh, I have no formal training for this. In fact, shade tree mechanic might be considered a compliment to me. But my dad's had me doing this kind of stuff since I was old enough to pick up a wrench. And so I am not afraid to give it a try. So we'll unplug the cylinder on the bottom. And this thing's not terribly complicated. You do have, uh, like I say, a, a spring in the back. Uh, you have to clip off. It's got a little clip on here pops off the throttle linkage there. And that throttle linkage just sticks straight through the carburetor. So it's actually pretty easy to get out. Once you get that far, this thing will slide off pretty easy. So I'm going to save that and pull this off. Okay, there is a spring hook down here. Take the moving motor pliers and get that off. There we go. That just slides right out. I'm going to go clean this off so we can get a good seat on our gasket. The back back here is actually just a, a rubber or hard rubber or plastic spacer, so I'm not going to worry about that. I'll clean this off so we'll get a nice seal on the front of the carburetor and get this thing back together. Just slide that on there. Slide the new carburetor on. next gasket and we'll slide this cover on the breather tube all right so we're going to take and go ahead and hook this first spring on again I'm not claiming to be a mechanic at all so there's probably there might be a better way to do this or it might even be the way that you're supposed to do it but Frankly, it works for me. If you got a suggestion of an easier way that I can do this, I'm all for it. Just let me know. 
so choke lever pushes that up, spring pushes it back down. Here we get the fuel line hooked up. Push the clip back down. Vent tube hooked back up. All right, hold your breath. Let's hope it starts right up and runs perfect now. We're gonna see if we can get it started back up. I did get it to start one time. Did have to keep the choke, run, choke pulled. <laughs> So that is with the choke pulled up. As soon as I push it down at all, it tries to die. Every time it dies, it's because I'm pushing the choke down. taking the fuel pump off and tried it just to see what it would do and it does pump a little fuel out but I'm wondering if it's just not enough if that's why I'm starving for fuel so I do have a spare fuel pump for it so we're just gonna go ahead and try it out to change it while we're at it and see what we get there there for just a minute all that was doing was burning the fuel that's in the bowl so it didn't do us any good so we're going to back on up probably should have tried to start with change the fuel filter out I do have a spare fuel filter too so we're going to change that out all right we got a new fuel filter in it now so we're going to try that and see what it does fuel pump's not pumping at all. I can actually see the fuel filter. You can see it right there. And it is dry as a bone. So we're going to back up and fill the fuel pump back up. I would hate to say that, or would say that it'd make me mad if it was the filter. But it actually, I'd be happy that it's fixed. But it would be kind of sad that I went to trouble changing the carburetor and everything else and it'd just be a fuel filter but like I said I've had problems with the carburetor of this thing since about the first year in all right let's try it again filter is definitely filling up now so it just may take it a minute to pump back there <laughs> right up and as soon as I shut the uh, choke off it smoothed out.
go there's an example of uh always check the easiest things first uh i am okay with spending 35 dollars to have the new carburetor on it just because of the troubles i've had in the past but uh there's a perfect example i tried the fuel pump wasn't the fuel pump went back to uh in fact I put a bad fuel pump on there but went back to the fuel filter the carburetor i bought actually came with a new fuel filter so put that in the line that simple fixed it so uh, a $4.99 filter probably would have got me running, uh, but I'd have still been questioning my carburetor all the time. So. All right, let's give it a try and see if it'll cut now. running i don't know how long so maybe i should have changed the fuel filter last year or the year before but either way new carburetor new filter runs great now i'm cutting grass mama's happy i'm happy if you like these kind of videos let me know in the comments you know tell me uh, you can harass me for not checking the fuel filter first if you want uh, but if you don't mind click the like button click the subscribe button comment down below thanks god bless shoot straight